Our contestant, Raymond Griesbois. Today is yesterday's tomorrow. Today is yesterday's tomorrow, Raymond Griesbois. Finally, after putting off my dream for too many years, I am now my own boss, which means I often have to work from home. Now come with me and picture this. My office is the kitchen table, all of the kitchen table. And much to the despair of my fiance, it is covered with business, lots of business. I call it busy, she finds it messy. But you need to know, I am a man of noble intentions, so in order to please my fiancé, I wrote myself a note on a little post-it like this. And that note is right next to my computer. So every morning when I get up, grab a coffee, and when I sit in front of my computer, I see that little reminder telling me that tomorrow I will clean up my desk. <laughs> ha! Tomorrow. Mr. Toastmaster, my fellow procrastinators, <laughs> do you ever ask yourself why? Why do we imagine that tomorrow is the best day to do everything? Like addressing a difficult problem or simply calling a friend. And mostly and sadly, our dreams. And yet, we forget that if yesterday you postpone things to tomorrow, therefore, today is yesterday's tomorrow. And speaking of today, for too many years, I neglected the true value of each day. Yes, had a good job, but like many people, my motto was TGIF. You know this acronym, right? Thank God it's Friday. I was living for the weekends. And to paraphrase the great Muhammad Ali, I was counting the days rather than making each day count. And I'm sure you've heard some people saying this famous expression. You know the expression, one day, one day when we finally retire. Or for some, it's one day when the kids are older. And in my case, for decades, it was one day when I have enough money, I will start my own business. It is like I was seeing my life, my dream, far far away. And we even do that with seemingly and significant things like calling a friend. The other day, I was working from home and my fiance asked me, honey, what's happening with Mark? It's been a while since he attended one of our Toastmasters meeting. You should call him. I said, yes, honey, whatever you want. I will write myself a note <laughs> and tomorrow I will call Mac. <laughs> tomorrow. Let me ask you, is tomorrow a busy day for you? <laughs> or should I ask, do you take tomorrow for granted? I'm asking because for too many years I was unaware that tomorrow is only a promise. Until that day, July 4th, 2012, my baby, my princess, my daughter Marianne, 16 years old, was hit by a train. Three days later, at the hospital at 11.42 a.m., her little Anne and mine, she gave her last and final dread.
Sadly, a few years prior to that terrible tragedy, my relationship with Marianne became a little bit rocky, so to speak. It came to a point that our egos took over. And I started to postpone my communication with my teenager. Oh, I had good inten intention. Every day I was telling myself, tomorrow. Tomorrow I will call her. Well, you know what? Since that day, tomorrow, no longer an option. Merci de m'inspirer. Friends, let's face it. It is true that we don't have the privilege of choosing which tomorrow will become your final today. But I have some good news for you. You have the power to decide how you will live this today, now. And the cartoon movie Peanuts, there's a beautiful scene in which Charlie Brown and his dog Snoopy are having this conversation about life. Charlie Brown tells Snoopy, you know, Snoopy, one day we will all die. To which Snoopy replies in all his doggy wisdom, yeah, true, but on all the other days, we will live. I could add to that as long as we start now. Because today is the day, my friend, to stop counting the days. Today is the day to say I love you to your soulmate, to your children. And why not call a longtime friend? And please, do not postpone it until tomorrow, because today is yesterday's tomorrow. Mr. Toastmaster. <laughs>